Well, we're not on that point yet. Um, what the Prime Minister asked on the 11th of July was a very serious question, which was, uh, are there alternative regeneration strategies which would capture similar levels of economic benefit in East Manchester than a regional casino? Uh, we have made our representations to that uh, group of people who were asked to advise the Prime Minister on that question, and our view is, based on the evidence we've assembled, there is no alternative to a regional casino in terms of scale of impact, and the regional casino should be allowed to go ahead. But were that to arise, were you not to get the decision that you hope for, is legal action under consideration? Every local authority, every agency um, in a situation such as this must address all the options. We very much hope that, based on the evidence, the regional casino will be allowed to go ahead. But clearly we have to address all options if things go against us to protect uh, Manchester and the residents of East Manchester in particular. So have you assessed the likelihood of winning if you were to bring the government to court? How likely is it that you would overturn any decision that you were unhappy with? Well, we're not at that point yet, and I can assure you we won't be sharing that analysis uh, at this point in time. Because there are some, Sir Howard, who would be concerned at the ultimate cost of something that might prove to be futile in the end. We will consider those issues at the time. And how confident are you, Sir Howard, that the people of Manchester still want the casino? The business community might want it, the council might want it. Do the people still want it? All the evidence to us suggests, of course, there were people who were concerned about the, some of the negative aspects that can be associated with gambling. But most of the people that correspond with us, most of the people that we work with, all see the overwhelming advantage associated with the jobs, the level of investment, the, vi- the new visitors, which would help to transform East Manchester into one of the most important destination centres to be found anywhere in the UK.